long ago we aired a show about a teenager who had constant headaches, nauseated all the time, and it turned out that, that he had something called an arachnoid cyst in his brain. He underwent brain surgery to remove the cyst, and his miraculous cure, it actually caught the attention of a family watching the show in St. Louis. I initially got diagnosed with migraines when I was 8 to 9. There were occasions where I would run and I would black out. If I get a full onset migraine syndrome, I have to lay down. I see floaters, my left arm goes completely numb. I feel very nauseous. It's a condition that I had no answers for until I saw your show. When I saw Austin, it was like, oh my gosh, that's me. All those symptoms right there, that is me to the T. Chris and I have been married eight years, and on our wedding day, we joked that we were saying in sickness and sickness because he has been sick the entire time I've known him. The pressure inside your brain is just tremendous. It's an awful feeling. It's 24-7. You can't sleep, and you just want to run away from yourself. After going to the first neurosurgeon and hearing the options for handling the arachnoid cyst were pretty depressing. Shunts and craniotomies, things like that. Finally, for the first time, I feel like I have an answer. I'm incredibly excited what Dr. Shahinian is offering me with a chance to feel 100% better than I've ever felt before. We shot that interview with Chris, Chris and Julie. That was the day before Chris's surgery with Dr. Harar Shahinian. And that name should ring a bell with Jennifer, who is joining us on the phone from Lewiston, Illinois. Jennifer is Austin's mother. Welcome back to the show, Jennifer. Thank you. So, Austin's surgery, that was about six months ago. How's he doing? Oh, he is phenomenal. He has no more symptoms. He just had his six-month MRI, and it looks great. So, what did you think hearing about your appearance on the show and Austin's story actually affecting a family that you haven't met? It, it feels amazing. Um, that's what we had hoped would happen. We wanted other people to get the help they need as well. Well, it did. That it did. It makes and us feel so good about our show. When we hear, hear a story like this, I mean, it, it, I almost get chills. Well, you know what's interesting? Remember before that show day, you and I thought, well, you know what? Most people have no idea what an arachnoid cyst is. And we said, I wonder if people will be interested in this because Unless you're most a people haven't heard of it. Correct. But it does affect people. And Jennifer, in, in can you stay way. on the line real quick? Sure. Okay. Stay on the line because one of the reasons we did this show previously is the... Some of the surgical techniques to remove these cysts, they're, it's a big surgery. Well, in, in the past, without, without this type of endoscopic surgery, it was old school neurosurgery. You had to do what they called a perional craniotomy. What that involved was create, placing an incision in the scalp, peeling that down, creating a wing of scalp, actually cutting out a circle of bone, removing that, that section of bone, putting retractors in to retract the brain tissue, and that's where the collateral damage comes in. I mean, you're holding those ret retractors, very sensitive tissue, have to pull that out of the way to remove that arachnoid cyst, obviously put things back. That's the way they used to do it. And Chris wasn't comfortable with that operation. After watching the show, that actually led him to Dr. Shahinian. And coming up, we're gonna talk about Chris after the surgery. Did his symptoms disappear? How does he feel today? Well, Chris will tell you himself after the break. We are making the incision inside the hair of the right eyebrow. The dissection is taken all the way down to the skull. Stop. We're talking about medical emergencies you can't ignore. And when Chris discovered he had an arachnoid cyst behind his eye, after watching our show, he knew surgery with Dr. Harar Shahinian may be a great option. This is Christopher's MRI. This white area here, that's his arachnoid cyst on the right side. This cyst is pushing the temporal lobe back and is touching the optic nerve. 15 blade, please. We are making the incision inside the hair of the right eyebrow. The dissection is taken all the way down to the skull. Stop. We are drilling a keyhole opening. Stop. 
Here's the opening and the whole procedure will be done through this keyhole. We're opening the membrane around the brain. His brain is very tight despite the medications that we have given him to shrink the brain. The probable cause of that is that this arachnoid cyst is large and it is pushing on the brain. This is the human frontal lobe, right there, pulsating. Everything from this point on will be with endoscopic visualization. The top of the screen is the skull, and at the bottom of the screen is the brain. You can see the cyst here. It is draped over the brain. It's full of brain fluid. Well, this cyst is about the size of a small lemon. There's the cyst wall. We're going to peel it off of the brain. And there's the optic nerve right there where the tip of my suction is that white structure there coming out it's right on the optic nerve we're gonna free this optic nerve completely that's why Christopher is having all kinds of visual problems this white structure that's the smell and taste nerve we freed the frontal lobe the temporal lobe in the back the optic nerve and the carotid artery so it's all now nice and clean we are ready to start closing the cavity of the brain is closed. Within eight weeks, everything will be as it was. Well, what do you say? You want to see how Chris is doing today? Yeah. Chris and Julie, come on out. So we're all dying to know, and I've, I've been dying to have you come out. How in the world are you doing? I'm doing phenomenal. I uh, was back at work a week later. Um, I mean... And what was great was your comment, when we got married, it was in sickness and in sickness. What about yeah. now? Is it in sickness it's and in health? <laughs> yeah, because, because he had most of this going on when you met him. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and how much weight has he lost? 20 pounds. Because that was part of what right. was going on, that, that this pressure... What was affecting your appetite, right? I had extreme hunger, and, you know, they say the camera adds 10 pounds. I was looking at some of that initial footage and thinking, maybe it's 40, but... Um, <laughs> the, the bottom line is that that was huge incentive to lose a lot more weight. I feel motivated now because I feel I have vim and vigor. I have overall health. I mean, everything is just brighter. I'm, my appetite's down. I'm 20 pounds down. I'm waiting to get at the 10-week mark. Then I'm going to get into some more vigorous activity, working out, that kind of thing. Did you have another symptom that you pretty much had most of your life? Did you tell us something about that? Well, I, I had nightmares, uh -huh. um, horrible nightmares, and I've had those my entire life. And actually, it was my mom who pointed out to me that uh, I, uh, she said, are you having those nightmares again or anymore? And I said, no, I'm not having. I didn't even think about it, but I've not had a nightmare since the uh, surgery. I mean, it really is like being with a new person, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Dr. Shahinian is a super specialized physician. To do this through this incision that he placed in your eyebrow, and he didn't shave anything, did he? That's the no. plastic surgeon in him. Mm -hmm. He actually was able to deflate a tumor the size of a small lemon that was sitting back in this part of your head. When I got from your show, hooked up with Dr. Shahinian, it was a straight-up miracle. I was so excited because finally I felt like this is the guy. He understands my problem, and he's going to be able to take care of it. We have two scans that document what was going inside your skull. Actually, one from back in 1990, right. which shows that, that mass, that arachnoid cyst, immediately in back of your orbit. And that cyst is there uh, as recently as last year, right before you had your surgery. So this thing's been sitting there 20 years, really essentially uh, larger than it was initially. And, and you know, we have someone uh, on the phone still. Jennifer, are you still there? Yes, we are. Anything you want to say to Chris and Julie? Uh, Chris and Julie, I just want to say congratulations. Austin wants to say congratulations. We just want you to enjoy your new pain-free life and just appreciate every day because a miracle truly happened. Jennifer, thank you. Thank you. Chris, thank you, Julie, thank you so very much. You so well. Coming up, urinary tract infections strike women and men. They're painful, sometimes annoying. But did you know if you ignore them, they can become life-threatening? That's all next.